My name is Mark Morgan uh, from Clarksville, Johnson County. Uh, we're here at uh, Peach Pig in Paradise. Uh, we grow peaches, about 25 varieties, uh, spread out uh, over about seven weeks or so of harvest. And uh, today uh, we're going to be answering some questions about peach production in Arkansas. <music> Okay, so the first question is, uh, you know, there used to be a lot more peach orchards in Arkansas. Uh, maybe how come there, there aren't as many uh, around today? You know, there used to be a, a lot more peach orchards around. I remember even just growing up, there, were, there was more orchards in the state. Uh, I think it's a combination of things. Uh, you know, it's a very difficult crop to rely on cash flow. Uh, there's good years and bad years, and it's, it's very difficult from a financial standpoint to keep that even. Uh, the other thing is labor. Uh, we still do so much with peaches as far as hand harvesting, hand proving, uh, you know, thinning. It's a lot of shoulders and elbows. Uh, as far as, you know, the mechanicization is, you know, tractors, things like that they have in the row crop side. Uh, we haven't got as much of that uh, in our industry. And so it's, uh, uh, you know, finding labor at the right times is, uh, is definitely a, a, a challenge. All right, the next question. Uh, how long uh, will a peach tree bear fruit? Uh, you know, if you're going, to, if you're planting in the ground that hadn't had peaches on it, you know, you really should be able to get 20 years, uh, maybe even or more, uh, out of that tree. As far as us, we've been in commercial production, kind of on the same soils for a while. We're we're really shooting more for that 15, uh, just because uh, the, it, it's had so many peaches on it in the past. But uh, you know, really 20 years or longer, uh, you know, if you take care of it, uh, it'll, it takes about that third year uh, to, to really start producing them. But, uh, but yeah, 20, 15, 20 years in Arkansas. All right, our, uh, our next question was kind of, uh, you know, as far as uh, peach, what the, what the calendar looks like, what we're doing uh, certain times a year. Uh, we usually start, we're, we're in bloom now, obviously, uh, but we usually start uh, in January doing pruning. We, we prune January, February, uh, hope to be done before bloom. We've got a little bit left here, uh, but that's really whenever we're coming in and pruning. Uh, if we're lucky enough to have, a, you know, this is the time of year we start really looking for freezes. We want to avoid those to have a crop. You know, April, May, June, sometimes you can have too full of a crop where a peach will put on way too many peaches that it could stand, so we have to come in and thin that. Uh, then there'll be harvest season, uh, course irrigation, you know, uh, mowing around the trees, keeping the weeds down, stuff like that. And then in the fall, uh, after we're done harvesting, we come in, uh, do some uh, do some work to to really get ready for the next year's crop. As far as uh, you know, looking for peach tree borers, spraying, uh, and and really uh, helping that tree have the best uh, setup it can be for the next year. So when is the peak peach season in Arkansas? Uh, you know, in Arkansas, we can grow peaches June, July, August, uh, really even September to October. Uh, most, uh, mostly for us, it's July. You know, we start uh, mid-June and, and really go through August. But uh, July, you know, we, we try to be going by July 4th. Uh, we've got the Peach Festival in Johnson County the third week of July. Uh, July is, is really whenever we get going uh, here in Clarksville. All right, uh, the next question is, uh, what it, uh, why do peaches have fuzz, or what is the uh, the peach fuzz on the peach? Uh, the the fuzz really is a a, a defense mechanism. You know, it keeps uh, certain insects uh, from either you know traveling over the fruit or, or laying eggs on it. So it's really a, a it, it's a helpful thing to in, in defense of uh, some insects. We uh, you know if you look at the some of the newer varieties, the old timers used to talk about all the fuzz you know being in the air and the packing shed and. Uh, I think the newer varieties have a little bit less fuzz on them than they used to. Uh, you know, there's also the nectarine, and nectarine uh, is a peach, uh, for, you know, pretty much. It, 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 on the inside it is, it just does not have fuzz on the outside. Uh, it has a recessive gene uh, that doesn't, doesn't put on fuzz, so. All right, our next question, uh, the difference between uh, freestone peaches and clean peaches. Uh, so on a peach, you know, it's going to have the stone or the seed in the middle. You know, a free stone will just break right off the, off the seed. The, the first free stone really developed commercially was the Alberta. Uh, since then, they've developed tons of free stones. Uh, 
A lot of people prefer the free stones, but we also, you know, the cling, you can't just break it apart. It's going to stick to the seed. But a lot of the cling varieties we grow have a pretty big following and that people would come, you know, just specifically to get that cling. Uh, you know, if you're just cooking with it or whatever, the free stone may be a little bit easier. Uh, but if you know what you're doing with the cling and uh, really uh, are, are used to that, you know, more uh, traditional taste, uh, it has a big following as well. The next question is, uh, can I plant a peach pit and grow my own tree? Uh, yeah, you can. You can grow a tree uh, from a pit. The issue is, is uh, all of our uh, peach trees are grafted. So, you know, they have a root stock and then the variety grafted onto it. So it's kind of a hybrid tree. So the, the seed you plant, you're not going to get exactly, you know, what kind of peach it came from. There's going to be a little bit of variance there. But yeah, it, it, will, it will grow a tree. You can, you can get a peach tree from a pit. So do animals like deer and squirrel like to eat peaches? Uh, yes. Yes and no. Uh, we all, you know, we have to have a deer fence. Uh, we've got so much deer pressure that uh, the deer don't necessarily eat the peaches as much as where they really hurt us is they eat the leaves. Um, especially on younger trees, they can come through and just, you know, eat all the leaves and then all of a sudden you don't have any leaves, the tree's dead. Uh, squirrels, they're gonna, you know, you'll see squirrels going out and taking ripe peaches out all the time. Uh, you know, our, our theory on that, you just got to grow more than they can carry out. They're going to get their share. Uh, got another question about like, how do you keep insects off uh, your peaches? Well, it depends on the time of year. You know, this time of year we're in bloom. Uh, we, we don't want any insecticides or anything because we've got our bees working. Uh, now later in the year, uh, whenever you start getting closer to harvest, uh, we have to keep a, a pretty routine spray schedule uh, to keep, uh, keep insects off of the fruit. Uh, you know, your, your local County Extension agent uh, can provide all kinds of uh, spray programs and things like that. Uh, it's uh, you know something that you kind of need to stay on top of, but you also you know need to do scouting to go out uh, to to see what your issues are because sometimes you may go out and you may not have any issues. Sometimes you may start uh, you know seeing the development of something that could turn into a bigger issue. So you know scouting and uh, and contacting your County Extension agent would be uh, my recommendation. All right, and the final question. Uh, why do people say uh, that they're feeling peachy when they're feeling happy? Uh, you know, I really don't know. Uh, that's, uh, you, you've always heard that, or, or peachy keen, or all that stuff. Uh, you know, I just know that, uh, you know, when it's harvest season and, and we've got fresh fruit uh, out here and it's, you know, it, it's from an Arkansas peach orchard uh, and, and they can taste it, you know, I, I think to me that's what feeling peachy is. You know, it's just that fresh, uh, you know, hadn't been processed, it's just right there and fresh, and that's sure hard to beat. Uh, and so uh, we're looking forward to having a good, uh, good crop this year. So far, so good. Hopefully it'll stay with us. And, uh, you know, go, uh, go eat some local Arkansas peaches this year at your, at your local peach orchard.